Okay, I have our chills ready. You're ready? Okay. I'm going to call the Common Council meeting to order Tuesday, April 14th, 2020, 6.09 p.m. Roll call. All the persons, Madden, Here. Kubaki, Engelhart, Capusta, Here. Borgman, Here. Hamill, Here. and Wolf. We have a quorum present. Thank you. A statement of public notice. This meeting was noticed in accordance with the open meeting law. Okay, and communications from the mayor's office. First, I would like to take this time to congratulate uh, Rick Petfalski as mayor-elect, as I said earlier. Um, John Terrence, uh, alderman of District 3, he's not here, I believe. Um, alderman um, Wolf, re-election, and who's my other one? Alderman Engelhart, re-elected. So congratulations. And I would like to take this opportunity to recognize Alderman Neil Borgman of District 3 for 16 years. That's a long time. Neil, I thought nine was long. I, I'm, I'm finishing nine. So 16 years of service as Alderman person of District 3, obviously first elected in 2004. Uh, Alderman Borgman had served on the Finance Committee, Public Works and Public Safety Committees, Parks and Recreation Board, Library Board, Community Development and Authority, which is the CDA, Little Muskego Lake District, and various task forces. So um, if you'd like to come up here and accept this plaque, which I just found out today that Rick was kind enough, Petfowski, to put this on this nice wooden thing. We had the certificate but in a frame, but this is much lovelier. So thank you, Rick. So well, thank you. Now I just want to take a moment in my last council meeting. Um, it's been a great run, nine years. I'm going to be brief because the last city newsletter pretty much outlined my nine years. So I kind of left the whole community with a little bit of info and I got some nice phone calls in return from that. But um, basically what I want to say is um, there have been multiple councils over the years, and I'm grateful to each and every one of the members that served on that. Can't do it without the decision-making of the council that takes their time and deliberates. Um, I thank the community, of course, for the support over the years, and I, they're, they're fabulous, and I'm grateful to hear all the kind comments that they've had in recent months. And then lastly, as I always do, I end with the staff. As I said in the newsletter, none of the good things that happen in the city can happen without the staff. I mean, we're only as good as the staff that's there doing all that work. So I want to thank them. And more specifically, this election process, for all of you who don't know, it was beyond grueling and changing and extremely difficult. Many hours were put in. I was in communications, as Jill would know. On the weekends, they were here on Saturdays. I mean, this just an end of the evenings. Very, very long process. I know they're glad to have it behind them. And uh, I thank each and every one of them, the staff, including the poll workers that also came in. So thank you, City of Muskego community members and council. Thank you. Standing ovation. I'm not going to dance. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay, uh, more announcements, some proclamations. I gotta get to my proclamations. Where are they? Here we go. I think there, you, there's. I missed one. Okay, this is the Arbor Day proclamation. Whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for planting of trees. And whereas this holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than 1 million trees in Nebraska. And whereas an Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and the world. And whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our uh, precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife. And whereas trees are renewable resource giving us paper, wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products. And whereas trees in our city release property uh, increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of a 
of business areas and beautify our community. And whereas trees, wherever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal. And whereas the city of Muskego was named a 2019 Tree City USA by the National Arbor Foundation in honor of its commitment to effective urban forest management. Now, therefore, I, Kathy Chevrotti, Mayor of the City of Muskego, do hereby proclaim Friday, April 24, 2020, as Arbor Day in the City of Muskego and urge all citizens to support efforts to protect our trees and woodlands and to support our city's urban forestry program. And further, I urge all citizens to plant trees, to gladden the heart, and promote the well-being and present and future generations. Thank you. Another proclamation. Whereas Wisconsin is celebrating the 53rd anniversary of the Wisconsin Open Housing Law, and whereas it is important to reaffirm Muskego's commitment regarding fair housing, which occurs when people have a wide range of housing choices based on income and needs regardless of race, color, sex, sexual orientation, religion, national origin, ancestry, age, marital status, lawful source of income, disability, family status, or status of a victim, of domestic abuse, sexual abuse, or stalking. Now, therefore, be resolved that I, Kathy Chevrotti, Mayor of the City of Muskego, do hereby proclaim April 20th, April 2020, to be Fair Housing Month and encourage all housing providers to support and affirm their commitment to fair housing. I wish for continued success in breaking the barriers that limit the realization of equal housing opportunities for everyone. Okay. Public comment, I believe we received none via email, correct? Email? We didn't get, I didn't get anything. It will goes to a central email, but nothing was forwarded, so. Um, consent agenda. Approval of common council minutes for March 30th, 2020. The approval was by, uh, motion was by Alderman, I'm doing for the record, Alderman um, Hamill and, and, no, it was Hamill, Kibaki. and Kibaki. second by Alderman, Kibaki and no, Kibaki. Hamill did it. Oh, Kabaki, I'm sorry. Alderman Kabaki and second by Alderman Engelhart. Am I right? Yes. Okay. You want an you want amendment? To, you want to come up maybe here, John, so we can all, it's hard to hear you. Yeah, because now if you're doing that, we need that on record. I'm not Let's sure it's on. it's on. No, Does it has to be turned on. Oh, it's got to be turned on. Oh, no, it's on. on. Oh, okay. All right. Um, as printed, those uh, um, um, minutes uh, do not reflect something that I offered in the uh, comment section. So what page are you on, John? Uh, looking at the minutes at the end. The oh. comments. Under the communications and miscellaneous business? Pardon? Under the communications and miscellaneous business, Community is that where you are? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, I'd just like to offer this uh, idea for amendment uh, that the minutes might reflect in addition to my comments of thanking the mayor and the chief for their leadership during the current crisis. I was inviting the prayers of repentance and consecration of the people of faith on behalf of our nation, state, and city during this state of emergency. That was not included in the minutes as I read them as printed. You, you can have listen something to the recording. Written. John, you, you have something the... written? Yeah. Could you give that to Jill maybe? It might be easier if he's got something written. Okay. This is a full copy of what I spoke last time, and at least this section I'd like to see included. Okay. Okay. So I don't know that we need an amendment. She can write. Do we? Do, do you need an amendment for that? Or? I, yeah, I think there you need an a, amendment. A okay. to amend and and the John, can that go right after where it says health crisis and then put your sentence in there? Okay. Okay. There's a motion by Alderman Inghart. Is there a second to that? Alderman Wolf, Wolf. made the second. Alderman and, Wolf. Okay. Yes. Wolf. Any discussion on that? All those in favor? Opposed? The amendment is approved. Now the minutes as amended. Need a motion? That was Alderman Madden. Is there a second? Alderman Hamill, second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Is approved. Um, new business. Approval of operator licenses. It was Alderman Kubaki and Alderman Hamill. Any discussion? All those in favor? 
Opposed? Is approved. Resolution 25, 2020, approval of a certified survey map. Brian and Gail James. Alderman Madden. Second. And second by Alderman Kubaki. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? It's approved. Resolution 26, resolution to adopt an emergency responder sick leave policy due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Alderman Wolf and Alderman Eileen at Madden. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? It's approved. Resolution 27, acceptance of next gen 911 reimbursement grant in the amount of $21,000. Alderman Hamill and second by Alderman Wolf. Any discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? It is approved. Resolution 28, award of bid, 2020 road improvement project. Uh, oh, that was Kubaki and Madden. Any discussion? You want sure. You want to come up to uh, the microphone then? Um, this is our annual road program. Um, the two roads that got chosen is Crowbar and Hillendale, both from Jean, uh, Hill Road down to Head and Berry. Um, the work is supposed to start in June. All the letters went out. Um, we're hoping that it goes as well as it did last year. And then some of the alternatives that we have in our bids that we can kind of use like we did last year, we used some of the alternatives and did some more work. So um, they were, we had actually four bidders on it, which is great. The more bidders that we have, because we got it out more, it's more competition, so it's, it's excellent for us. Payne, why they did it is one of the roads is literally right down from their plant, um, which is great for us. I mean, it, it is such an asset for us to, to have this uh, in there. Um, but um, they're ready to go, and we want to get this work going in, in June. So the last thing i got to do is once you approve it, um, we talked today about, new con about the contract. It's going to be flipped around um, all electronically. We're putting on the new mayor's name. We talked that to uh, the new mayor today so that we get all the, the right signatures. And then the last thing I got to do is update the um, website. So, Just that can't be signed until the 22nd? Correct, correct. And, and he still got to go yeah. through, like, contractors. Okay, gotcha, yeah. It's going to take a while. Yeah. yeah. No, we have, we have um, we're actually, different subject, but 90% we're reviewing right now in-house. I already got comments back. I've talked about three residents this week about it because they were confused. They thought the road program was part of the Hill and Nail one, and it, it wasn't. So um, I said, look for that coming. That still is planned for capital of 2021. Um, the 90% plans that we're reviewing internally have gone to all the utilities. They're all looking at it. Um, and then the game plan would be to bid that out in November, December of 2020 so that we have the contract ready to go in 2021. You, you know, and, and I hate to say this, if there's a poll out there now, the chances of the poll staying just being moved is pretty good. We have no control. We haven't done this today. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Scott. Yep. And we obviously had a motion. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Resolution 28 is approved. Um, resolution 29, award of bid 2020 field renovations. Alderman Madden? Second. Alderman Hamill? Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? It is approved. Um, vouchers. Um, that was Alderman Kubaki and Alderman Wolf. Any discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Approved unanimously. Alderman Kubaki and Alderman Madden. <coughs> Any discussion? 
All those in favor? Opposed? Is approved. Alderman Kubaki, Alderman Hamill, any discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Is approved? <laughs> Alderman Kubaki, Alderman Engelhart, any discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Is approved? Hi. Alderman Kubaki and Alderman Hamill, I think. Yeah. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Is approved. City official reports? Um, I have none. I think I did that earlier. And there are no others. Um, communications and miscellaneous business? I'm assuming no updates. Certainly nothing new going on. It's all COVID. <laughs> Thank you. Um, closed session. And, and before you read this, I just want to let the public know uh, we will um, come back and open to uh, just adjourn the meeting so that will not be out there on YouTube because it's only business will be to adjourn. Thank you. Following conclusion, of con following conclusion of consideration of the portion of its regularly scheduled agenda listed above, the Common Council will meet to vote on a motion to convene in closed session for the purpose of discussing the skills, performance, and workloads of specific employees in consideration of the possible creation of a human resources position for the city. A closed session for the purpose specified above is authorized pursuant to the provisions of 19.851C and 19.851F of the Wisconsin statutes, which relate to considering employment, promotion, com compensation, or performance evaluation data of any public employee over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility, and consideration of financial, medical, social, or personal histories or disciplinary data of specific persons, preliminary consideration of specific personnel problems, or the investigation of charges against specific persons except where paragraph paren B applies that if discussed in public would be likely to have a substantial adverse effect on the reputation of any person mentioned in such histories or data or involved in such problems or investigations. Upon conclusion of the closed session, the Common Council will convene an open session to consider its public agenda, including motions to recommend approval or rejection of the above listed deliberation or any of the public agenda items that have not been acted upon. We need a motion. That's Alderman Kubaki. Alderman Wolf was the second. You have to take a roll call. <coughs> Alderperson Madden. Alderperson Kubaki. Aye. Alderperson Inglehart. Yes. Alderperson Kapusta. Yes. Alderperson Borgman. Yes. Alderperson Hamill. Yes. And Alderperson Wolf. Yes. There are seven in favor. That is unanimous, so we will be going to closed session. And again, we will not be back on live because we will just come out to adjourn. Thank you.